welcome to the channel happy new year we are in southport today it is tuesday the 9th is it the 9th i think it's the 9th yeah tuesday the 9th of january and this morning it's about eight o'clock sunrise is just happening over this way today we're going to take a little wander around southport the town center is this way we're not going to go into the town center today we'll maybe do that another day oh look at that cute little mini there just driving past Today we're going to head down here, we're going to go through King's Gardens, maybe see if the pier is open, I'm not quite sure if it is. If it is, we'll maybe wander down the pier a little bit. Not much will be going on this early in the morning and on January, but we'll go and, go and have a nice little walk around Southport. It is pretty cold this morning, I'm going to have to put my gloves on, I think. It's freezing actually, <laughs> not pretty cold, it's about minus one. But let's go through here to King's Gardens. I love King's Gardens. It's a very nice place. In the summer, it's absolutely heaving because there's like boat rides, there's mini golf, there's a big kids play area. Quite often, you'll sit on the grass over there in the summer, like get an ice cream and things, bring a football if I've got kids. It's a really nice place. There's a lot of cafe as well that plays music. Really nice place in the summer. I mean, it's nice in the winter, but obviously there's not much going on. Oh, this is quite nice. Community garden. Maintained by friends of King's Gardens. Oh, like a little King's Trail, a fun trail of discovery through the gardens, like for kids and stuff. Nice. Oh, places to visit. The monument, the play area, Venetian bridge, old water chute, pine tree, shelters, lake, wildlife, a free map of the gardens inside. I don't know where you can get them from. Like little leaflets, but presumably you can pick them up from somewhere, maybe in the summer. But inside the King's Garden, this is something I've never been to. I've been here so many times. This model railway village. Children under three go free. Mad about trains, this is the place for you. Quite often in the summer, you'll see the, um, the trains go past with little kids riding on it it's behind you can see the sign there it's behind that fence let's go back through this walkway Here's the lake. Looks pretty chilly today. <laughs> it's so pretty though. Some swans down there. Or one swan, I should say. one coming towards us. Oh, here are all the swans down here. Can you see them? I 
think we'll head up these steps here. I haven't got anything for you, Swan, sorry. No, not today. Let's go up these steps. You can see the fairground in the background there, obviously dead at this time of year, it's not open. Funland and the pier in the distance. We will we'll first maybe go through, where should we go actually? Maybe we'll head to Funland and the pier. We'll walk up to the pier. Here's the kids play area here. I spent many hours here when I've got kids. It's a really nice play area actually, a wooden one. This bridge here it takes you, if you cross over it, it takes you to like where the Premier Inn is. There's like a cinema there and I can't like some restaurants and stuff. Here's the play area. No one playing today, but it's really big. A few years ago, I went on this what are they called? I call them death slides, but I don't think they call death slides anymore. I went on this and I slipped on the bottom. Really, really hurt my coccyx. <laughs> I couldn't get up for about <laughs> 10 minutes. I was just sat there. Oh, treetop towers. It's been designed by children. Oh, nice. Maybe we could have walked through there actually because there's that's where the crazy golf is. Never mind, we'll go this way. Maybe I'll have to peep over the fence or the, these hedges at the crazy golf. All oh, these swans down here, look. And then, here we go, let's go down these steps, I'll just show you, in fact, we'll walk down this way now, mini golf, again, even in the summer, on sunny days, I've never played the mini golf here actually, I like a good round of mini golf. <laughs> So just on from the mini golf, this is the Marine Lake Cafe. This is where they play music. Lots of old people are usually sat here in the summer. Well, old people and families sat here. Someone stands over there on the stage singing. It's really nice. And then over there is the lake ticket office where you can get a boat from. Up here, Silcox Pier, traditional fish and chips, heaving quite often. On nice days, there'll be loads of motorbikes here. Stephen, my son, always used to like coming and looking at all the motorbikes. In fact, he still does like coming and looking at all the motorbikes. Funland, all closed up. Here is the beautiful carousel. I love this carousel, or like traditional carousels like this. See, bikers, please keep clear of cafe entrance. How beautiful. So, as you can see, Silcox Funland 
closed and actually it looks like Southport Pier is closed as well. We can't get down it there. I wonder whether we can get on it anywhere else. Let's go and have a little explore. This way. It's a town centre. You can see the sun's coming up over there. I don't think we'll be able to get onto the pier today, which will be a little disappointing, but never mind. We'll walk across the Marine Way Bridge here, which is a really nice bridge that goes over the lake. And actually, I don't know whether you can tell, but the sky is turning a lovely, beautiful shade of pinky oranges. Yeah, look at that, the pier is close. Civil engineering, they're obviously doing some work on it in the off season we will come back in the summer and now I'll, I'll have another little walk around Southport when we can go down the pier when it's busier when it's nicer weather look this way and across the road let me see yes I can you can see the lake it's actually a really huge lake here We'll probably be able to see over in the distance that way, Blackpool. Clear days, you can easily see Blackpool Tower. Just at the other side of the bridge now, you can see here actually the uh, the little railway for the miniature railway ride thing that they've got going on in the park. And there's some shops here. Pizza Hut, Matalan. KFC, McDonald's. The usual suspects. And then on the left side, that's where there's a cinema and the Premier Inn that we saw before. Was it a Premier Inn or was it a travel? No, Premier Inn. And obviously the pier is there as well. That is where we would be walking along. Actually, there's men up there working. I can see them doing some things. We'll go straight down here because the beach is just right here. We are right underneath the pier here. And I just thought there's some steps here. I thought I'll have a little wander around to see if I can get up the steps this way. But no, it is all blocked off. We cannot get up to the pier. Let's go ahead, over to the beach. We'll walk down this way a little bit. Here you can see the back of the cinema. There's bowling. Ocean Plaza it's called, that's it, I couldn't remember. Oh, I hope you can see the colours of the sky. It's really pretty.
off as a log flume there. That makes me feel so cold just thinking about going on. Oh, is it a log flume? I don't think, know whether it is a log flume actually or whether it's from uh, Splash World. No, I think it's a log flume. I've just walked to the end of that little bit of beach and here is a big kind of monument statue thing. It says Trans Pennine Tra Trans Pennine Trail. Which if you have a look over here, it's a national coast to coast route for walking, cycling, and in places, horse riding. Oh, whoa, so it goes all the way from Southport here through Warrington, Manchester, Barnsley, Selby over to Hull. Wow. Interesting. Right, I'm gonna head Back this way now, walking towards the pier. The sun is coming up over here, look. <sighs> Whoa, I nearly fell down that, um, <laughs> down the curb then, I didn't know there was one. <laughs> it was Splash World. That log flume thing that I saw, it was the Splash World slide. So behind the pier, it might be too small for you to see, but I can clearly see Blackpool Tower and is it called the big one? I don't know what it's called anymore, but the big roller coaster in Blackpool. And then like that way is, if you keep walking, you will eventually hit Liverpool. Formby first. Formby's lovely. Formby's got a lovely beach with sand dunes. I think I made a video on Formby. I'll link it down below. If I'd have brought my wellies, I'd go down to the beach, but I'm not in my wellies today, I'm just in my walking boots. The sea is so far out at Southport. I feel like it always is. I mean, it obviously isn't always so far out because, you know, it's wet here and stuff, it must come in. But whenever I come, it's always so far out. Whenever we walk down there, it, like, it feels like it takes about an hour to get to the sea. It probably does take about an hour to get to the sea, to be honest. And it's freezing cold. Oh, that'd be so cold today. I would love to do, like, wild, like, cold water swimming or dips or whatever, but I think I'm just... I've done a one or two, but it's like, oh, I'm not sure whether I like them or not. They are quite refreshing, but... Whew. Chilly.
So I'm going to end this little walk around Southport King's Gardens and we didn't go on the pier unfortunately. I can see someone else working on it right at the bottom there in the bright orange high vis stuff. We didn't go on the pier, we did have a little look along the beach. I think I am now going to actually head into Southport Town Centre and I'll make a new video about that. So if you fancy seeing Southport Town Centre, I will link that down below when it's up. But yeah, that is Southport. Sunrise walk in Southport on this chilly January morning. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.